I know you see me lounging in the bed. I don't know if some of you know that. I had like a freak accident yesterday where <laughs> I'm kind of bruised and battered up. So no, I didn't feel like sitting in a chair and talking to you all today. <laughs> I have pictures of the freak accident if you would like to see. It hurts. So this video is basically what some of you have been asking me to do. Y'all have been asking me to do a Q&A video and here I am. <coughs> <coughs> oh, shit. I got on Instagram and you know Instagram has a feature now where you can tell people to ask you questions. So I told y'all to ask me some questions. I got some weird ones that I'm not putting up. I don't know what y'all's obsession is with feet, but please seek help. Unless you're sending me a cash app to see my feet. In that case, we might could work out an arrangement. My first question was, why didn't you finish school? So in life, some people are made for school, some people aren't. I don't consider myself one of those people that's made for school. I have short-term memory, probably because of the recreational things that I used to partake in. But no, school to me was almost a waste of time. I'm almost actually done with my bachelor's degree, but I left because I started making more money than a lot of my friends that have their master's degree. I think that school right now is a scam. Some of y'all's parents went to college and it didn't cost them $60,000 per semester. I also went to University of New Orleans, which is not cheap by any means. So I'm not quite sure why y'all ask this. Why aren't you in TV yet? You're very talented. TV has not really been something that I've always just wanted to do. I actually was almost cast on the Bad Girls Club until I decided to look at their contracts and realize that those young ladies aren't really making the money that I thought they were. Um, always look over your contracts. Always. These reality shows will try to literally get over on y'all because they think that a lot of y'all won't read the contracts. Always read the contract of everything. Don't ever sign your name away. These production companies will own your life. But just in case anybody wants to, you know, holla at your girl at this point in life, just know I'm not cheap, but I can't be bought. The next question, which orange is the new black character do you identify with most? Um, Sometimes I be thinking I'm Suzanne because she a little off. Just a little bit off. I think that I'm Flocka because Flocka will play the dumb role, but she's really smart. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, this next question, y'all might have me a little bit messed up. Are you a cougar? how old y'all think I am but to be like a cougar you gotta be like in your 40s I'm not there yet okay I might be a puma some of these young men's do be on me a little bit you know what I'm saying some of the young men's you know they was born in like 96 you know they be on me so you know I might give them a chance you know what I'm saying you never know yeah I told y'all these toe questions I don't know what would you allow your man to rub your feet and even suck your toes during intimacy? What's, are y'all okay? Are y'all okay? That's, that's so personal. But yeah, I would, shit, it's a toe. It's a toe, put it in your mouth. I'm gonna wash it before you do it, but like, yeah. This question is deep and I know who it's from. <laughs> Thoughts on down low men who will never admit to having sex with men or being into men. Oh my God. If you don't just live in your truth, there is nothing wrong with being gay 
lesbian, trans, just listen, love on who you want to love on, have sex with who you want to have sex with, and just be yourself. Like, that's so weird to think that there are men that are actually scared to come out because society tells them that it's not okay. Like, just be yourself. Because you could potentially be putting so many people into a place that their feelings will be hurt or you don't know how somebody's gonna react. Like, just be, just, hey, live in your truth, okay? What is your take on accountability in relationships? Is it important? Accountability is always important in relationships because without it, everybody just doing willy nilliness. They just doing whatever the hell they please. I'm a big person on holding myself accountable and whoever I'm dating at the time or I'm with at the time needs to also know how to hold themselves accountable because I don't play that victim shit. I don't like it. I don't tolerate it. If you can't take responsibility for your actions, you can go ahead and get this. This is, <laughs> how do you feel about your Vine friends being more successful? <laughs> what? Uh, if I've ever called you a friend in life, even if you're not my friend, I wish you nothing but success. I cannot find it in my body to be a hating ass bitch. I can't do it. I, ca I cannot do it. As far as everybody that I was around on Vine, which some of y'all remember, they've done astronomical things, makeup lines, TV, been all over the world, making money, have their own businesses. I'm happy for them and I'm proud of them. Um, the majority of them were always telling me that I need to take the internet more seriously. But y'all can't be running up on me like y'all run up on them. I'm a little different, okay? When y'all be trying to, oh my God! Ooh, you gotta walk up on me a little gently. Hey, Antoinette, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? Cause I'm not all, I'm not wrapped too tight. You're running up on me. I might hit you with one of these and then you're gonna be mad at me. You're gonna be like, she's such a bitch. Like, should have ran up on me. Shit. Was... <laughs> this is weird. Why are you so funny? Um, I don't really be saying shit that's funny. I just have a sarcastic tone to my voice and I speak a lot of the honest truth and people just find it funny i don't know why the fuck y'all be laughing i don't know why y'all be laughing i don't know what's so damn funny because i'll be serious y'all probably laughing right now it's not that damn fun i don't i'm not that funny where are you from or where were you raised so this is a little confusing <clears throat> do y'all have time okay cool let me explain it to you so basically, I was born in Houston, Texas. H-Town, stay down. But my mom and my daddy got a divorce because they ain't like each other. So my mom moved us up to Euless, which a lot of y'all is like, where the hell is that at? <laughs> Ow! It's a little town outside of Fort Worth near DFW Airport. Both of my parents are from New Orleans and Slidell. So... Louisiana. So when people ask me where I'm from, I say three cities. I am from Houston, Dallas Fort Worth, or DFW for the people that are familiar with it, and New Orleans because I kind of bounce in a triangle amongst all those. What cities. is the craziest experience you've had working nightlife? I'm trying to tell y'all something crazy without name dropping and blowing up the spot. Cause that would be bad. At one point in time in my life, I used to MC on Bourbon Street. And I do remember there was one distinct time that I was on stage with the microphone and I was going hard. I was like, everybody put your hands up. I'm like doing it, going hard. Everybody like, everybody lit. I look over to my right and I see this lady sitting on a stool. I see a guy in front of her. He got this big old jacket on. I'm like, damn, they've been hunching in this corner for a minute. You know, I thought they was just slow grinding on each other. You know, everybody be drunk on Bourbon Street. I looked over and he was straight like short pumping. 
He was, yeah, getting it. I, y'all, I promise you, it wasn't even my fault. I didn't mean to. I forgot the mic was in my hand. I said, hey, you stop that. Hey, you stop. Hey, are y'all having sex in the club? Like, in the club, in front of everybody. I didn't mean to do it, but I wouldn't think that anybody was going to have sex in the club in front of everybody. Just on Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street is nasty if y'all ever been in New Orleans. It's just disgusting. It's literally germs everywhere. You have to carry a bottle of hand sanitizer on you at all times because everything is covered in decades of sperm, feces, piss, throw up, alcohol, and motherfucking Ramalad sauce. <laughs> have you ever had a threesome? Y'all are so nosy. Y'all need to mind your business, okay? But just let it be known. There's nothing wrong with being gay for pay, okay? Yeah. Oh my God, I hope my family ain't looking at this. <laughs> what is your favorite city in the United States? Either New York or San Diego. San Diego because it's so chill. Actually, Oakland. Oh, I'm a ratchet bitch. <laughs> Y'all, I love being around real stuff. I love New York because it's loud. Everybody there minds their business. It smells. The sounds. It's always something to do. Everybody there is loud Italian Dominican there's so many different flavors of people in New York and it's just obnoxious like me so I love New York New York is my favorite place yeah New York New York is gonna be my favorite place in the United States this one is so funny are you single <phone rings> who is asking who wants to know are you you trying to wife me or not? Are you single? I'm hungry. That's what I am. I'm hungry. I'm not single. I'm hungry. Did that answer your question? Do you have any children? If so, how old? Okay, so a lot of y'all been following me for like a long time. So if I had a child, do y'all think that I would be hiding that little, that little fucker for this long? Y'all would have been so my big head, baby. I don't have any kids. Uh, I don't really. Uh, ooh, how do I say this without sounding like a bitch? I don't really want them little fuckers, okay? They smell. They might mess around and come out ugly. I don't have time for that. What I'm gonna do with an ugly baby? You would have to be attached to a man for the rest of your life, connected through a child. That freaks me out a little bit. I don't know if I want to deal with somebody for the rest of my life. Like, this is our seed. This is our child. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be connected to y'all forever. Then they expensive. Did I say they was expensive? I don't They expensive. I don't. I like all my money going to me. How tall are you? Why is that always y'all's question? I'm big. I'm 5'11". On a good day, I'm six foot. In heels, I'm 6'3". What's up? And no, I don't want to play basketball. No, I did not play basketball. No, I cannot post up with you. No, I do not want to, like, shoot in the gym with you. I will never go to the gym with you. I don't care. Can I create big-ass children with you? Maybe. For the right contract and the right price. Do you have a particular type when it comes to men? Rich. Wealthy. What a side... making me misbehave on the YouTube channel. They gonna shut me down. Um, I like athletically built men with maybe like a little bit of a gut. But you know, I'll be all over the place. I've dated men that have been fat. I've dated men that have had abs. I've dated men that are shorter than me. <laughs> dated skinny men. But one thing about it and two things for sure. They weren't poor. All right now. Thank you for tuning in.
to the Q&A of Antoinette. If y'all have any more questions or you would like to know anything, if it's not going to piss me off, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. More videos to come soon. I'm sorry. Don't forget I had a freak accident the other day and I am injured. I am in pain right now. Back to you, Suzanne.